of man with cancer. What does number five say? Five is that you are what? You are a male who died of what? Cancer. A male who died of cancer. So what does that mean? Now there's reference to sex. So you got to be a guy. And you got to have died of what? Cancer. How many? 28. 28 over what? 190. What's that? Not over 77. No, why not? That's a good question. Why not 77? What is your, what is your definition? Total in the what? See that? You see what I mean? See that? Say get that tattoo. Get the tattoo. See, you see how consent that is? That's almost like you don't have to think anymore practically. You go, okay, I'm going to apply my definition. The total in the sample. 100 days in the sample. How many, how many men died of cancer? What's the probability you're a male who died of cancer? 28 over 190. Still that same relationship. That relationship hasn't changed today at all. That's the end of that. Is your denominator. Okay? Number six. A female who died of what? Heart disease. So there's reference to sex. You have to be a what? A woman, I guess, female. And, and what? You die of heart disease. How many? 21. 21 over? 90. How many people had all six of these? See, we started off the day, did you know, some people are going to this deceptive, they're going to say this simple, they like this, it's easy. Some people, some people look at that and it's like, ooh, but it's deceptively simple. I mean, probability missions can be really difficult to start changing a lot of different stuff. It's, in general, it's a very complicated thing. But when you first learn what we're doing, these tools are pretty important. Are pretty what? They're not there yet. We will, though. Okay? All right, you guys okay? All right, we're going to give you some more definitions. It's not over. <laughs> it's all right. We're giving it to you. You okay? You guys okay? What are you, you're holding your breath. Like, oh. <laughs> it's like a, a test. Ah. In some sense, all right, this is, we'll, we'll pass your test back, not right now, but I want you guys to approach it this way. This is how you have to think about it. This is a healthy way to go. Okay, it's healthy. If you look at your test, you're going to get it back today. And let's say you feel really good. How long do you want to feel good for? Uh, maybe what? Five minutes. Why do I say that? Because it all starts all over again. Some people party till the next test. They bomb it and they're like, oh my God. See, I mean, they just, oh, this is, oh, I'm so happy. They're just celebrating all the way to the next test. They bomb the next test. <laughs> well, what did you do? I thought I did good the first one. And, I know, you know, and then you know, second one. If you look at your test score and you don't feel happy, how long do you want to feel bad for? How long? <laughs> ten minutes. Why ten minutes? Let it sink in really good. <laughs> Let it sink in good, but then stop after how many minutes? Ten minutes. You got to get over it. Why? You're in the same situation. You got another to worry about. Remember? So you can celebrate, celebrate for a little bit. Punish yourself, punish yourself for a little more. <laughs> but not much more. Not much more. And then you get back up on your saddle and you do it. It's all over again. It's a new beginning and you keep fighting. Is that right? We went through that already. Okay? That, that's how you want to look at it. So I know some of you guys are going, oh, thank God, I'm almost there. And oh, no, there's a little bit more to this stuff, okay? We just gave a good foundation. I got to give you a definition now, a few definitions. Definition of what's known as the complement of an event. Complement of an event E. Okay, 
that is, this is the definition of the complement of an event. It is the list of outcomes in the sample space that are not in the event. Okay? The notation, you can see, sometimes they put not E or non E, E with a line on top, E with a C for complement, E with a dash. Okay? This is called the complement of an event. So let's go over some complements here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. Okay? Um, what do you want me to get rid of? Should I go to the left, the tree? Do you guys know? Um, what political parties are there in the United States? Any political science majors? Yeah, are they four? I don't know. What political parties are there? Republican. What else? Democrat. What else? Independent. What else? Green Party. What else? Socialist. What else? Communist. What else? Fashion? Fascist. Are they a fascist party? What else? What are the political science majors? Tell me. What are they? Peace and what? Peace and freedom? Is that another part? Are there any others? What is it? The Libertarian Party? Libertarians? Okay. Let's say that this is the list of political parties. Is that right? If I ask you this, which parties are not socialists? Which of the parties? What are you going to answer? Which parties are not the socialist party? No, which ones? There's a question. You're going to answer this question. You're a Republican. What else? Democrat. What else? Independent. What else? Green. What else? Not socialist. Communist. What else? Peace and freedom. What else? Libertarian.